Hi there everyone, it's Joe. and before I carry on with the Cardio of the Week video for this week, there's two things. First of all, yes, I am wearing makeup, and that's because I am a makeup artist by profession, and I have a show to do today, and this is the only time I've been able to find to get a video out. So, if you don't like it, then sorry about it. If you do, then great. And then second of all, I've reached 4,000 subscribers the other day, which is crazy, crazy. Thank you ever so much to everybody that follows this channel and enjoys the videos and everything. You guys keep me going when it comes to these videos more than you can possibly know. So thank you very, very much. Anyways, let's carry on with the video and we're on the card of the week and it's Delita, which is a very, very hot topic for Opus 3 actually. Delita is a 5 CP Earth forward with 9,000 power that reads, when Delita is targeted by the ability of an opponent's character, break that character. When Delita is targeted by a summon your opponent controls, that, that player takes a point of damage. Now, when you read Delita, he looks absolutely ridiculous and like scary powerful. And yeah, he's pretty damn good. Like, there's, there's no two ways about it. The guy has just no downsides. Like, he's just an absolute blockade and he's amazing. He is fallible, he's not like, I've seen a lot of players online going, oh my god, doom and gloom, this guy's broken. It, there's a lot of ways around him, which I will get over in a second, but I want to talk about his pros first, of which there are many. Now, due to his colour, he also, well, I think the scariest thing about him is the things that he shares a colour with, like Vincent. Like, having to stare down a Vincent and a Delita simultaneously is a very scary prospect, because one of them you can't target with death effects, the other one will hurt you for doing so, and they're not weak units either. But they're just very, very good together. And, you know, you have your Rabans, you have also Kefka if you really need it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use Kefka on him, but it's a really good card in Earth. And there's just lots of little support guys as well, and it's just a very, very powerful unit. Now, there's loads of ways around him, and one of my favorite things about Delita is the fact that he's not a lightning forward. And if you watched my elemental tier list the other week, then you'll see that lightning is far and away the best color in the game right now. So it's nice to see other colors getting support like this. Now, the thing to note with Delita is that if you're not targeting him with the way that your method of removing him, then you don't have to suffer for it. And I like to think of him as a slightly upgraded version of Opus One Kuja. They both have very, very similar effects in that if you target target him, you're punished for doing so. Now, with this one, it's very much the same sort of thing as removing Kuja. You could use, there's loads of cards in Opus 3 that can do it, like Zalera the Death Seraph, which can target him and a lot of other things that, are, that, you know, that can be in play, although he does have to be done in order to do it, so it punishes your opponent for attacking. Um, similarly, Matthias does the same thing. Matthias doesn't target when he kills something, but he requires your opponent to be attacking. Uh, you have Famfret in the new set, which will punish your opponent for relying on Delita and not a lot else, or if you can somehow get rid of Delita's friends, then you have a way of getting around him without having to target him. You also have Ultima in the new set. You also have a Zodiac, but I much prefer Ultima out of the two, which is a straight board white, remove everything from the game that isn't light or dark. Now, that card is really, really powerful, and I'm sure we'll come to that in another card of the week at some point. Similarly, you have Shantotto. Shantotto is very, very good at re dealing with Delita, for the same reason it's good at dealing with literally everything else. And then the other ways that you can deal with it are probably ones that people weren't thinking of quite straight away. Golem is a really, really good way around him because it's a combat trick. If you're attacking with something and you can make your guy bigger than Delita, then you're bigger than him and it kills him. Now that's not the easiest thing, because Delita is not small and being an Earth forward, he can run Golem himself, so do be careful of that if you're going to run Golem. Vayne absolutely sits on Delita's face. Absolutely sits on him, just like every 5 CP plus forward. And a lot of the forwards in Opus 3 that are strong, are particularly strong, are 5 CP plus, so I would expect Vayne to see a massive surge in usage soon. And then Cyclops. Cyclops is very, very good for the same reason as Golem. Cyclops does lots of different little things and it can also help you against other things at the same time. Basically, I want you to use units and summons that are powerful against other things, but obviously I want to make note of things that can deal with Delita so that everyone's not shouting doom and gloom and oh my god, this guy needs to be banned, blah, 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 blah. And then the last little guy I want to show is a card that I've really liked since Opus 2 came out and no one else seems to like it, which really shocks me, which is the ninja that kind of emulates Death Touch from Magic. He doesn't target because it's, a, a, you know, it's a blanket effect. It's just, it's an effect that's applied to the ninja, not to the guy that he's blocking, that's blocking him. So, so ninja can deal with Delita very, very well. Drogon in the new set as well is another card that's straight removal. It's like, oh no, the, you know, he dies if he if he um, targets Delita, but he dies for his effect anyway, and therefore you're trading a 3 CP unit for a 5 CP unit. 
So as long as you get there first, which is more likely because it's cheaper, you, ha you have the turn, you can afford the turn to wait before Drogon's effect kicks off. So I honestly think that there's a lot that can deal with Delita, despite the fact that he is exceptionally powerful and easily one of the chase cards in the Opus 3. I just wanted you guys to be sure that, you know, he's not the end of the world. He's just very, very good. And that's it for this week in this video, and I apologise if I've been rushing around to try and get this video out, but I want to make sure you guys have something to see this week. And did I mention the Deleters art artwork is also really, really amazing, and they're stepping up their game when it comes to the artwork of this, get this set. You know, we compare it to some of the stuff from the first set, like Snow. We don't talk about that Snow. Then it's definitely getting much, much better. But thank you very, very much for watching, and thank you very much for subscribing if you have already. It's, it's lovely to see that people are wanting to watch what I do, and it's really, really kind of gratifying and great. Um, and, but we can only keep going up from here, so definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share these videos out so that more people can get in touch with this really awesome game and this really awesome community. So thanks again, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.